Absolutely. So let's narrow this down to what it all means for Nebraska football. And uh, there's a lot going on in the transfer portal, but we'll focus on National Signing Day first and foremost with the commits that are coming in and could be coming in. So the first one I'll throw at you, Greg, is the one that's going to be announced here tonight. Uh, Ben Roberts was a uh, defensive lineman who was choosing between Oregon and I believe had committed to the Ducks at one point. Yeah, he was a long time commit to Oregon okay. until Mario Cristobal uh, took off for uh, uh, a change of scenery, we'll put it. So uh, now he is uh, uh, obviously he is a, a Polynesian descent, uh, and Tony Tuioti has jumped in there on him and made a, a huge impression. He came down here for a visit. Uh, Noah Pola Gates was his uh, his uh, his guide uh, on 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 his visit, and he had a great visit. And now he is deciding tonight between Nebraska and Oregon. He, you know, it's Oregon is still there. He, does, he, you know, he might still stick with the Ducks. You never know. But like we talked about before, Tony Tuioti is making a big push in the Polynesian community. And you see that paying off this year already. And we're looking ahead next year, especially um, in that department. And uh, also when you uh, add the new offensive line coach, uh, Donovan Rayola, who is also a Polynesian descent and has a lot of ties to this university. But you, you got to like your chances with a guy like Ben. Um, you know, he's a three-star defensive tackle. And obviously Nebraska needs to address that situation now. Um, since Damian Daniels declared for the NFL draft. So that's a guy that now we know that will not be back on that uh, defensive line for the Huskers coming up here in 2022. So, um, yeah, now Tony tuioti has got to address that, that situation. And um, like we said, Ben's going to make that decision tonight. Uh, and I believe he's not going to make that public until tomorrow. So uh, we will not know um, until tomorrow unless, uh, you know, I get a little inside information to slip my way, but um, you never know on that one. So that's what we're waiting on for. But then, you know, less than, uh, you know, well, now a little bit over an hour ago, you know, Nebraska did get a big time get um, there on, on the defensive side of the ball. Um, a guy that uh, Travis Fisher jumped on right away in uh, and, and Jaden Gold, you know, he's a rival's 100 corner. Um, he was previously committed to USC, and then we all know what happened there. And, um, you know, he, he's a kid out at, of at, at Camden, New Jersey, and he he decided to open it back up, and he, he was down to two schools. It was Penn State and Nebraska. Um, Missouri was also in there. And, uh, yeah, he, he made it known here uh, at, at 6 o'clock uh, Eastern time that uh, he's going to be a Husker. So that's a big get. That's a four-star, um, you know, the top-ranked uh, recruit now in this class uh, going forward. And uh, it just shows you that Nebraska, at least on the defensive side of the ball, has things rolling right now with uh, Eric Schneider and uh, his staff, uh, you know, continuing to add. And you can see uh, Travis Fisher, the, the impression that he has and, and, and his coaching ability. Uh, you got DiCaprio Boodle in the NFL right now. Uh, Cam Taylor Britt coming out, going to be an NFL draft pick. Uh, Markel Dismuke, Deontay Williams, a couple other guys that are probably going to be uh, playing on Sundays as well coming out in Nebraska this year. So. Uh, and Jojo Dolman, you can't forget him as a, a nickel type guy. So, yeah, uh, Nebraska seems to be a place now where uh, it's pretty desirable to come and play on the defensive side of the ball, especially in the defensive backfield. So the rundown on gold is that he's the fourth rated player in the state of New Jersey, according to the rivals rankings. That's uh that Bergen Catholic, that's a football Catholic. factory in New Jersey. Yeah, it's a great play. I've been there. I've covered a game there, and it's a pretty unique atmosphere. Absolutely. 29th rated at his position, 39 offers. And then in looking at uh, Roberts, he originally committed to Washington. Then he decommitted, went to Oregon. He's a current uh, Oregon Duck commit, or was, 
and he's got a pretty nice offer list. Uh, it's only 12, but it includes Oregon, Baylor, Colorado, Oregon State. I love how we say it's only 12. I mean, how many kids, <laughs> how many kids out there are saying, wait a minute, where's my offer at? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good if you got 12. Oh, and yes. And, then, and they're coming from Nebraska and Oregon and Baylor and Colorado. Yes, yes. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that. I'm not demeaning it in any way. I'm just yeah. used to seeing, you know, 20 or 25. I can't tell you how many that. times have I had that question asked me from a kid or a kid's parents. Is, where, when's that offer coming? I'm sorry. There you go. I really don't have anything to do with that process. <laughs> Then we also have Greg uh, Deshaun Singleton. We do. Is he on your list? Yeah, uh, he he's a he's a transfer. He's a JUCO. Um, actually, he will, he counts in this class. Um, so he's a JUCO transfer um, out of Hutchinson uh, Junior College. Um, another kid that's going to you know add some uh, veteran presence in there and. and and, you know, like we're talking about, Nebraska's losing three out of their four starting uh, defensive backs. So, uh, you know, not to take away anything from guys like Quentin Newsom and, and Miles Farmer and, and those guys. But, uh, yeah, you need to, to reload at that position group. And he's going to be a guy that can step in right away and, and compete for playing time. And, uh, um, again, it goes back to Travis Fisher's uh, – kind of prowess there as a uh, guy that can groom you to play at the next level. And I like him a lot. Deshaun Singleton got some offers from uh, Kansas and Kansas state. Also some uh, group of five offers and a top 20 rated uh, Juco player in the country, regardless of position out and, of. Uh, and, and Hutchinson's a, a pretty darn good program too. If you're not familiar um, with, with the Juco league here in, that, that covers, you know, Kansas and, and Oklahoma and Nebraska and Iowa. It's a pretty tough uh, brand of football and, and produces a lot of good players. 